Acne, breakouts, pimples, blackheads all are part of every woman's life. But the most traumatizing breakouts always remain the teenage ones. During this puberty time, we often face a bunch of pimples popping on our forehead, nose, and chin. And sometimes it remains for a long period of time. No skincare products or home remedies work on this dirty acne and made our life vulnerable. This all happens because teenage breakouts are not just normal acnes that come overnight. These are hormonal acne that takes time to grow and stay for even more time. So if you're also facing the same kind of acne difficulties, then you should definitely work on that as early as possible. Now you might be thinking about what is hormonal acne, what are the reasons behind and most importantly, how to treat them. So to quench your thirst for knowledge, we have come up with this video on hormonal acne. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the video. The name has already said it all. Hormonal acne simply pops out for hormonal fluctuations. In teenagers, it happens the most as that time the hormones activate sebaceous glands and increase the sebum production and clogged pores. Now, if you have passed your teenage time with bright clear skin, that doesn't mean you won't get acne in adulthood. Hormonal imbalance can occur at any time and you can have hormonal acne at any age. Irregular menstruation, menopause, PCOS, anything related to hormones can be a big culprit of those cystic bumps. So it is most important to track the menstrual cycle to identify if you're having hormonal acne. Now, there are many more ways to identify hormonal acne which we are going to discuss next. Recognizing hormonal acne is easy as it only occurs at the T-zone and lower third of your face. These tiny bumps come with a deep cyst inside and often cause inflammation. Also, it causes red papules and pustules on your cheeks and often left long-term scars on the face. This kind of acne generally visits before or after a menstrual cycle, so it will be easy for you to identify them. But for clearing those bumps, you have to go through many blocks. How should you treat your hormonal acne depends on how severe condition do you have. If you have a mild or moderate level of acne, then it can be treated with a overall, the counter products and some simple changes of lifestyle. But for severe acne problems, you have to go through doctors, supervision and prescribed medication. For now, let's check what over-the-counter treatment you can get for a mild or moderate level of hormonal acne. An over-the-counter treatment can be done with both oral medication and outer care. For oral medication, it is always suggested to take oral contraceptives and anti-androgen drugs. But if you have a history of blood clots, high blood pressure, or breast cancer, then oral contraceptive is not an option. Another good option to treat mild acne is using beauty products infused with retinoids and alpha-hydroxy acid. These ingredients generally work on opening clogged pores and remove dead skin cells, so your face doesn't shine with regular bumps and you can have a clear skin. For that, our recommendation is to use Differin Gel, a retinoid treatment with 0.1% adipoline that gently remove clogged pores and inflammation from your skin. Also, it works on clearing breakouts and prevent new acne forming, so your skin will have an improved texture and tone. For home remedies, there are very few options to go. Only tea tree oil and green tea works on decreasing inflammation caused by hormonal acne. Though this ingredient can be easily found in many beauty products, we would also like to suggest you using them as spot treatment. To treat your mild acne with tea tree oil, first you have to dilute the oil with carrier oil like coconut, jojoba and olive. Take 12 drops of carrier oil and 1 or 2 drops of tea tree oil together and gently tap the oil in your face. With that, add few cups of green tea session in your regular diet. 
adding plant-based foods high in antioxidants and omega-3 fatty acid in your diet will also be good for your skin as they help to reduce inflammation. Also, you should limit consumption of sugar, dairy products, refined carbs such as white bread and pasta, and red meats. So, that's all with our over-the-counter treatments and home remedies. If using this solution doesn't work on your face, we suggest you to visit a doctor and take prescribed treatment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends if you find our videos useful. Be sure to subscribe and press that notification bell for more updates in the future.